Hi, computer graphics. That is a term that excites the hearts of nerds everywhere. Why? Because it's used for some of our favorite things. Movies, special effects, video games, art, cartoons, and cool, cool sunglasses. <laughs> but computer graphics should have a much larger appeal than just to us geeks because today it's used in so many different contexts. Like as visualizations for architects and city planners, or as concept designs for industrial products, and as animations and simulations derived from scientific research. The same programs that are responsible for creating worlds in the latest Pixar blockbuster are the ones being used to print 3D jewelry, toys, and highly fashionable uh, things like this. CG has become a ubiquitous thing. It is everywhere. And that's because it isn't just created by the professionals anymore. Anyone can learn to create computer graphics, including you. It's easier than it's ever been. Why? Well, simply put, availability. Both of the software used to create computer graphics and the training that you can find online so readily. But it wasn't always that way. In the past, software choices for creating 3D content were limited to just a few very expensive programs, which often required extremely expensive special computers to run. The silicon graphics computers of the 80s needed to run alias were upwards of $40,000 US. 3D Studio would come out in the 90s for a price of $3,495, and that was considered affordable, but the leading software, Power Animator, which was used for films like Jurassic Park and Independence Day, would still have a price of almost $30,000 if you wanted all the modules and not just the basic software. But the new millennium saw proliferation of choice for graphics software. And today, while most professional level software still costs thousands, these programs at least have free student or learning editions available, and the rise of the internet and YouTube means there is a ton of free training to be found. But there is one unique program that has been rising in popularity recently and stands out significantly in terms of value. It is the amazing Blender. Blender is an open source, fully featured, supported, documented, constantly updated 3D content creation suite. It operates using the same current CG technologies as the other packages, meaning the skills you learn with Blender will still transfer over to other software. And did I mention, it is completely free. With Blender, you can create professional grade art, special effects, animations, simulations, video games, virtual reality worlds, 3D printable objects, and much, much more. It has all the features of, and arguably more functionality than, the biggest expensive packages, but without the price tag. Blender has long been an underdog in the industry, but with recent booms in popularity, mostly driven by the Blender Foundation's open movie projects, the last few years have seen Blender in the spotlight. And this, along with its very helpful and unique community, has driven the quality of the software to new heights. Now Blender is truly turning heads, winning awards from 3D magazines, being used in theatrically released movies, and it is currently the most popular software used for 3D printing. Blender users even get jobs at the best companies in the industry, like Sintel Open Movie Director Colin Levy, who landed a job at Pixar Animation Studios as a staging artist and director of photography. Nice. As with other software, training for Blender is effortless to find online. With an extensive user manual and a number of sites dedicated to Blender training, it has never been this easy to learn CG. And I'd like to humbly suggest that this channel is about to make it even easier. How to Blend is a video-based training YouTube channel and website. While the site is still under development, you'll find the videos available now to be unmatched in quality, both in terms of production values and the quality of the teaching itself. Gone are the hour-long screen captures of modeling a circle with instructions periodically typed into Notepad. How to Blend videos are fast-paced, to the point, at least marginally humorous, and rooted deeply in effective teaching practices. If you are a beginner with computer graphics, How to Blend has videos catered specifically to you, and more advanced content is coming soon. One more thing, like Blender itself, How to Blend has a commitment to keeping the training free and available for all. When the website is officially launched in a few months, you'll learn a bit more about how that is possible. So, I'd like to invite you to check out our beginner video series entitled Orientation. If you're new to CG and you want to make 3D stuff, I guarantee it's a great place to start. By the way, my name is Jesse, I'm a teacher from Canada, but I quit my job in order to teach Blender, which has been my passion and hobby for about eight years now. So I hope you'll let me show you the ropes. Thank you for watching. This is How to Blend. See you soon.